In this lesson, I will explain how to create perforated brick wall. There are two methods to do so. I will first draw two types of walls to show you these two methodologies. I duplicate the existing brick wall, give it a name with perforated finish and uh, OK. So I will go now to the elevation view and uh, would like to see the texture. So I uh, switch to realistic view. Maybe make it well a bit lower up to level two. And uh, first method is to creating uh, cutouts in geometry by editing profile of the wall. But once I'm in uh, editing profile mode, the texture is gone. So first I have to create detail lines which will match with brick texture. So I'm drawing just rectangular lines on top of the bricks. I will uh, choose line style uh, lines, which is green, so, so it's uh, better to see, uh, see it on top of this, uh, of this uh, bricks. And uh, once a couple of rectangles are drawn, I can use a copy command to duplicate it horizontally as well as vertically. So it's a bit tedious work, but uh, using copy command, uh, we can make it uh, faster. By mistake, I dragged and uh, also this wall and you see this error. Uh, we can cope with that deactivating drag and drop option from selection options. So now I can uh, use uh, use this selection with uh, with uh, frame command to to copy select and copy this rectangles above. Right uh, now when I'm in editing profile mode. I can use pick line commands to create these cutouts. So it will be physical cutouts in a geometry. I can do this faster by pointing on a watch one of the lines, clicking tab on my keyboard, and now I can select chain of lines at once. I will not do all the uh, all the openings. I think you get the idea behind this methodology and when I'm in a realistic mode these cutouts are clearly visible but uh, the second method is uh, connected with editing texture of the material itself when I go to appearance first I will duplicate uh, duplicate uh, material but when I'm duplicating a brick common material and there is not a cutout option available. So I will create a new generic material, give it give it, it a new name and uh, make, make it from scratch. I will change the scene to walls and look for the image. I will select gray brick common and change its scale because these uh, bricks are too dense right now I would like to uh, make it bigger and uh, I as I mentioned there is a cutout option and I would like to show you an example of a cutout texture you see that uh, cutouts are made out of these black shapes. So uh, when something is black, uh, Revit reads, reads it as a cutout. So I have to edit the brick texture first in Photoshop to achieve such look. I will duplicate this layer and create new one with a black, uh, black field color. Right, 
okay it's black it's underneath the uh, the mm, original uh, original texture so now i create selections and cutouts but i have to be sure that i'm on a correct layer so uh, i undo these changes i go to the top layer and click delete once i select such so we have to do this with all the other bricks that we want to remove from uh, the project so it's also a bit tedious work but uh, once we are done the final effect is should look something like this i will save it in png file format and now load it in a cutout uh, section Make sure that the scale is the same as the original picture. And also I can add some, some bumps to make it even more realistic. Let's see how it looks in reality. We already see that the cutouts are made. And also uh, when I do the rendering, the cutouts are clearly visible. So we can create a stunning visualization using this option. And uh, you have to pay attention that uh, using the second method, editing uh, not geometry, but material texture is better for Revit file performance. So it's up to you to choose. If you have to have an opening, physical opening in Revit model, you will have to create cutouts using the first option. If not, it's recommended to use material texture cutouts.